my life. This is what I wanted to talk about, and we got perfect timing to hit on these three things. Ed said, all, I put three stars next to this. All of my success comes from RAS. Does anyone know what RAS is? Yes. What is it? Good job, Dave. Let's give him a round. The reticular activating system. The reticular activating system is the system in your brain that filters out all the stuff that you don't have space for and allows in the stuff that you want to allow in. So Ed Milet said, my reticular activating system is where every ounce of success in my life has come from. And this is a guy who started from nothing, had an alcoholic father, an abusive father, um, was really shy, had low self-esteem, and then uh, found one thing that he was good at, and that was baseball. And like put him, himself wholeheartedly into baseball. And in college, he suffered a severe injury and lost baseball. And lost the only thing he had that gave him any confidence. And from that moment, he's now worth half a billion dollars and is flying around the world and teaching people how he did what he did. And this is what he said, this is how he said he did it. The reticular activating system is that thing that when you buy a new car, before you bought it, you didn't see any of them. And now that you bought it, all you see is that car over and over <laughs> and over again. Why is it? Is it because now, like everybody else had the same idea as you and bought that car? No, you're just cognizant of it. Now you're cognizant of it. How come you didn't see all of those cars all the time before you decided to buy this car? You weren't looking for them. Were they there? We get, I think, four billion bits of information every single day. Four billion bytes. Like, if you were to, if you were to take in the amount of information, our eyes and senses and everything takes sense, four billion bits of information. Your brain can only process 0.00001% of the amount of information that comes in. That means your brain discards 99.9999% of all the information it receives. And it does that with this system. So basically, whatever you think is reality, you'll find it. If you think you're going to see that blue car, you're going to see it. If you think you're going to see failure, you'll see it. If you think you're going to see success, you'll see it. Ed said his RAS filters out all the things that would prove his personal beliefs false. So it filters it out, whatever he believes. It filters out the stuff that would prove him wrong. And it filters in all the things, all the information I receive every day that proves my, be my beliefs true. So your, your subconscious mind is working nonstop to prove you right. Henry Ford said, this is what uh, our buddy Steve Gill gave us this quote. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, right. either way you're right. Mm -hmm. If you think you can't, will there be enough evidence in that 99.9999% of the world that you see that will show you that you can't? Yes. Yeah. If you think you can, do you think there's equally as much evidence out there that will show you that you can? Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this was the quote that like, was the quote of the book. My obsessions become my possessions. Please write that down. My obsessions become my possessions. You, if, you don't, if you don't start to learn how to obsess about what you want, your brain will obsess about what you don't want. OK, so what are you obsessing over? What, what would be a good thing to obsess over? A 
accomplishing your goals? Your goals. How can you obsess over your goals? Visualize them every day. Speak them out loud. Vision board. Practice them. Yeah, man, we're getting all kinds of ideas. I heard vision board. Write them down. Visualize them every day. I think the best way to be obsessed is to have some type of daily practice. Yeah, people's same goals. Yeah, yeah, your peer group is really important. He talks about peer group in here a lot. When your peer group believes that they can achieve things and that's who you're around, you automatically start to believe that you can do what they do. If your peer group believes that they can't do things, you also believe that. So um, I want you to get obsessed. Grant Cardone wrote a book called Be Obsessed or Be Average, and it was the same idea. I want you to get obsessed about what you want and not what you don't want. Your language is, your language creates your life. If you ever use words that say you can't, or if you ever use words that put yourself down, you have just created that in your life. If you think it's funny, or you think you're making a self-deprivating joke, I want you to know that you are telling your reticular activating system that whatever you just said, there's a piece of it that's true. So be really impeccable with your word. This is the four agreements, right? Mm -hmm. Be impeccable with your word. Whatever words you say become true because of this.